Drive order is just updated, so let's check it out. Heading to the game, we can see that there's this new pop-up that shows the new cars we have. So we have the Quicksilver, the Pumpkin Pal, the Camo stock is back again. So if you want this, you can earn it again. And heading to the shop and looking at the new cars, we have one new car, which is a Pumpkin Pal. And I think this is going to be similar to the Zoomer, how it's only going to be out for a week or so. And it's $313,131. This car looks horrible. Look at that. And I'm pretty sure it's basically the exact same as the other pals so uh you could buy it if you want it's good oh what i think this is a bug but whenever you go over this speed trap here it seems to have a boost pad on it uh that's a little weird but i'm sure most of you guys aren't gonna want this in your garage it looks horrible and in case you're wondering what the first person view is this is what it is uh just as bad as outside and if we look in the bottom left you can see that there's a new ugc coming out in 17 hours and i'll be recording this and getting it when it comes out and here are the weekly quests we have one new car which is a delorean and i think this is a new race here this freeway speedway and luckily this week we don't have to smash pumpkins so this should be pretty easy to complete and to start off i'll do these shadow racers The wall ride on this race is really bad and it just I don't I don't think you can really get off of that correctly without slowing down. So it's not going to be a race that I'm going to be doing often. And on to the other shadow racer we have in the heights. I've been saying this every week, but I still think that the Shadow Racers should just give you the exact same car as a Shadow Racer. And with this, they can make it even harder for the new players and the old players would have more fun doing these because this is just too easy for us. But then for new players, this is way too hard for them. So I'm going to collect these and then move on to these other quests. And here I'll show you the five parts in the USA map. For the first part, head over to this place right here, the car wash. And right in this last stall, you'll see the first part. For the second part up in Mountain Town, head over to the location right here. And right under this bridge, you'll see the second part. For the third part over at Drag Strip, head over to any place over here. Uh, I'll do this trailer delivery spot. And right behind this hangar, you'll see the part. And make sure you actually hit it. There you go. For the second to last part, head over to this race right here, Forest Trail. And right on this jump, you'll see the fourth part. And for the last part, head over to this race right here, Redwood Pass. And right over here next to the maze, you'll see the very last part. And now with that, let's grind the rest of these challenges so we can check out this new Quicksilver. The method that I found to work the best for me at least is going over to the middle and then turning the tires and then it'll hit a few of the boost pads and then you just have to painfully go back and forth and do it over and over again. I'm not sure if going like this and then just going back and forth is any faster, but I find the other way to be way more enjoyable if it is the exact same.
And there we go, I have completed all the weekly quests. This was a painful grind to get these quests done in time. And I'm only 10 tickets away from getting the final car, which I already have it, but I'm still gonna go for it. And I think that's just a few dailies, which I have to wait until they reset, which is in 13 hours. And here's the car. My avatar does not fit into this. That is bad. And here are the customizations for it. This is definitely the coolest customization on it. I'm definitely getting this. And what's really cool when you get this, you're actually able to use them as the nitrous effect. So as you can see there, and it shows a backfire whenever that happens. There you go. And onto something that I didn't even know about. If you head into shop and search up the century, uh, I think this is a bug. It's here, but it doesn't have the new emblem on it. So you can't see in the new area. And this car is pretty expensive at 1.3 million. And here are the customizations for it. And this is basically the exact same car as the Century X. And as you probably already seen, there's some new customizations. First one being this haunted pumpkin that you can put on top of your car. And the other one being this broomstick, which if you don't buy these now, they're not going to ever come back again. So you're going to want to get these before they're gone. And the last change I'm going to talk about is race payouts. They raise the amount of money that you'll make in races. And when you go with other people, the person in first place will be getting more the more players that are in the race. So hopefully Hopefully this adds more incentive to actually race other people but with them removing basically everything that goes with races it doesn't seem like many people are going to be doing it anymore and with that being said i think that's me to end this video let me know down in the comments what you think about this update and i'll see you in the next video